Hello lovely people. The time has come to install and test out the new board for Nova. Uh, I'm not going to lie, I've already plugged it in to make sure it all worked, so uh, great news. It all works absolutely perfectly. Uh, for those of you who did make the DIY boards, however, <clears throat> um, the Teensy one, the PWM controller JST, I did reverse the pins. So be very careful of that. So everything is flip-flopped. Uh, so you, you'll see that in the diagram to this board as well for wiring it. So just play, pay close attention to that because I actually forgot. And I wired it all up and yeah, Nova booted, but the PWM controller was not responding. And uh, so it didn't cause any damage, thankfully. So I just, yeah, then realized, oops, I forgot to reverse my... GST, so I did that and back in business. Every single thing works, so we are good to go. Um, yeah, sorry I didn't do it in a live video, but of course, the last thing I wanted is for it to fail on me during a live video, so uh, it also fits in Nova perfectly. And my plan for the next version of the board, which I showed in a previous video, just has an extension of the PCB right here which will take the place of this small terminal block. They'll be right on this board with this and, and all is one piece. And it'll fit in there perfectly. So yes, this fits in here good. So why don't we go ahead and just wire this up really quick and I'll show you guys. Uh, I will go over all this in more detail probably in a coming video because a lot of people have been asking me about wiring and at this point I don't they're not all obviously not all of you who are asking are using this board I get it you're just using still the individual components and connectors so yeah I will do a follow-up video on wiring once again to make sure that you guys have all your questions answered and everybody's up to speed because from here on, obviously, I'll be using the PV, P, PCB board. And once again, big, big, big shout out and thanks to PCB Way. I really can't say it enough because I got to tell you guys, opening that package and seeing this and holding it in my hand, it's, it's quite a cool feeling. Um, I've been a designer, de developer, and a lot of things in my lifetime and have produced some things and tangible items but it was pretty exciting for this because it's the first time I've ever done a P PCB board okay so power is connected okay uh, my PWM controller goes in right here this is the battery monitor this goes right here and like I said I I'll review my JST wires right now I'm not going to trace these back to the components to show you where everything goes but this is for the mp3 player so that goes right here okay and honestly that's it for the hardware in the body okay next we have this harness which is all the hardware in the head okay so we'll connect this up so there's two for the OLED which, my eyes are getting bad guys, pardon me, here, OLD2, and OLD1, OLED1, and then these two are the USS sensors, or US sensors, ultrasonic sensors, and the RGB, so RGB goes, let's put this over that wire, right here. And then our ultrasonic sensors go right here. Alright, so that's the body and the head wired up. I'm um, not sure if you can see under here. I do still have a couple of standoffs in here from my DIY boards. And in my chassis, I went and built a slight platform here to lift the Teensy board up. So and honestly we missed with this now with the new board the, the notch out for the nano sorry guys doesn't mean you have to reprint your whole chassis if you don't want to just take a hot knife to this and nibble off a quarter of an inch i think will do it you can see the nano well maybe a little more than that half inch 
But anyhow, yeah, I am going to reprint mine, get rid of this platform, and probably pre-locate my uh, standoffs. But you can see that that one pretty much nails it. However, that nails it for this board. <laughs> the new board is going to have to tuck in here a bit more because I do extend the width by three millimeters. So it's going to fit really tight up against this uh, buck converter, but that shouldn't be a problem because we got like six millimeters there to play with still. But it does mean that the standoff holes will need relocating. I say this in all these videos, guys, of upgrading. I really apologize, but this is what prototyping is all about, you know, and, and really that's what PCB way is really come to my rescue for yes it's, it's crazy that I just got these boards two days ago and I already have another design ready to go to them to print for the next version so hopefully I don't do that too many times so I am going to hold off on that board like I explained and make sure it's really tight because I don't want to do that a hundred times okay so now that's all set I can bring in the lid here zoom out a little bit for you guys and here we just have the one harness as well so I'll put the lid down there now I'm considering wrapping these with labels but honestly how often are you gonna unplug these and most of them are pretty obvious because of the colors I use so you guys are free to use whatever colors you want and so you'll be able to keep it organized on your own so the first is my power switch so that goes in here. Oh, can we focus? Can we focus? Thanks. All these floppy wires all around, I think, is throwing the focus off on me here, guys. We'll be getting here. Maybe even time lapse through this. Who knows? If I watch it back and I'm just babbling boring stuff, I'll probably time lapse it to spare you all. Okay, so next I have. Uh, the PIR sensors is this one, and they go right here. Okay, my lid's a little too far away. I'm gonna move this up to top of Nova. Drop the screw. Okay, and then I have the PS2. Which goes, where are you at PS2? Under here. Okay. Then I have the volume control for the MP3 player. However, I'm pretty sure I jacked up my solder job on this JST connector because mine doesn't work. So I, I plugged in a, a manual potentiometer to this and it worked fine. So I know it's not the board or the electronics. It's definitely my solder job on that JST. So I'm not going to bother connecting that right now. Um, so what do I have left? I have just the control panel, which is that this panel with all the switches. So this is the last one. goes in over here. And that's it. That one remaining one, like I said, is the volume control. So everything is plugged in. So let's put the lid back down there. Actually, I kind of, I'll, I'll hold her up because she's on the ground right now. So if I turn around like that, obviously her feet are going to go nuts -so on me. So I will lift her up to let her motor, motors boot up. Let me attach some power here. <clears throat> okay, and let's boot up. As soon as, I, as soon as I saw those flashing lights, guys, I was so proud of this board. One final time, thank you so much, PCB Way. You'll be hearing from me soon, guys. If I lift her up before her legs kick in, or her lid is flopping around down there, let's hope that doesn't cause a problem. Hello, Nova. 
There we go, guys. We're in business. Actually, this is the first time Hello. she's stood up in a long time. I can follow you Try if you'd like. Get her lid over here. To other humans. Stand up, Nova. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to pick up the camera here because, yes, this is the first time Nova's been on her feet in a long time. Exciting. All right, so I will, yes, button her up, and then my next video will be on the wiring GST harnesses and the individual hardware components. And then you may not hear from me for a couple of weeks, guys, because I will probably be all software. If I make some amazing uh, forward-moving walking gates, I'll definitely show them off. Otherwise, next time you see her, she should be walking smoothly. As always, thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. See you all real soon.